Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. Um, today, as you can tell by the title, we're doing like an updated cage tour um, for both hamsters. You may have already seen Frodo's, I don't know which way around I'm going to do it. So, he's in a bin cage right now, as you can obviously tell. Um, and you may be wondering why. So, in the other cage, even though it's like 700 square inches of floor space, he was still um, climbing the bars and when I was checking, he'd clipped one of his nails on on the bars. So, it, it bled a little tiny weeny bit. So, I had to make sure it was all fine and then finish making this new lid. This play pen stuff's on the top. <laughs> Um, which is made of untreated wood and just like screwed together so I've put this like this well my dad had this idea to do it with the ends like this um, and then we have a piece under here that's drilled down at the top so that you can't move it because I know students are sometimes good at um, moving the stuff and then industrial stapler just stapled down Lesh because we uh, broke the actual bin lid <laughs> when we tried to put a hole in it. It was so um, hard that it took when we really put a lot of pressure on it, then it just you know fell apart. So, anyway, so yeah, he clipped a little bit of his nail. It, it there was only like one or two little tiny spots of blood on the bedding. So I flipped him over, did a little check on him to make sure it wasn't like anything, you know, serious, that he wasn't bleeding from somewhere else and it was just a little bit of a nail, so. We moved him into here last night, before I'm filming, it, filming this, and he's waking up because I was being too loud. Um, so I'll just go through it. So here he has his hide. And I know he doesn't have a lot of bed in there, his um, yellow tube just goes round there. Um, he only has a couple of inches here, like five, although it is still like up to here and there. So maybe like six inches there. And he has um, wood pellets there so that he can dig around in that and for odour control. And then at the back there... He has around 9 inches, or probably like 10 inches actually, because I want to make sure he still has enough burrowing space. There's this little geometric toy, which I love. I love that toy. He loves that toy. He, he tries to take it on a walk, it's so funny. Um, obviously all of this has fallen down in the night, <laughs> so it doesn't look as nice as it did in the clip that I would have shown before this. Willow stick, he has... Um, you know, all the stuff that I showed before the giraffe thing, cardboard chew, his bear chew, and his chew chew. And then here I've got a dig box because I wanted to give him a bit more stimulation. So I've been hiding food in here. And it's basically just like a bit of shredded napkin and crinkle paper that I made myself. Here we have Chipsy Beach Chips. Um, it's just it's a safe uh, wood and it provides another uh, texture which gives them more stimulation. So we have that there and then that um, that's in there and it is big enough. You can go in it. The hole's really big and you can turn around. He digs in it, turned around. I just I wanted to check before I permanently left it in there just to make sure he could turn around in there if he wanted to and he can't. Um, then he has his willow ball and then his water bottle, 11 inch Trixie wheel, um, some rocks, he has three of them, one's under the, the bedding there because it was kind of like a divider and then one's just in front of the ball there. He has his treat, um, board and breaker thing, piece of driftwood sand because he needs a sand bath and also it's another 
texture for sim stimulation. I've got to see, he has this little uh, treat, like there's another chew there. And then right in the corner, it has a little cardboard um, tunnel. So it was like something that you get posters in, so it's quite a big tunnel. It's the size of that one, so I know you can fit in it. Because this one, he peed in it. So I'm going to have to like saw that bit off. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is still a good cage. I just, for Jet, personally, I think he needs a bigger cage, so I'm on the lookout for a bigger cage. Um, so yeah, I'll update you all when he gets a bigger one, or when I try and sort something more permanent out. So yeah. See you all in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. <laughs>